right, Kay. Let me ask you a question. Have you seen this, sir? Have you seen um, this trailer yet? Does it look familiar? You showed this to me before, and Jack? I have not told you how much I love it. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, man. Check it's this out. So, so what this yeah. basically is, right, uh, Andrew Levitt, uh, that you can see down here, he recreated the GTA 6 trailer, like, beat for beat, dude. Okay? And I'm going to play it now so that you can check this out. But mm -hmm. him, and I don't know if that's his girlfriend or, or you know, mm -hmm. someone mm -hmm. helping him out. Look how they created the GTA trailer. And the thing is, is that right now I can't do it because I, I just don't know how I would be able to show you. But when you get a chance, I want you to open up two browsers, put them side to side. side, by side. And it he, is. It's, he did it shot. <laughs> For shot and i mean she's not yeah. twerking but you know they're, they're keeping it, well, it they're keeping there's it twerking pretty. there you keep it up yeah, yeah, there's twerking yeah, in it it's yeah, really yeah, good but but it's it's so good and and here's the thing right and i think that as we were talking about in the in the green room when oh there you go when and it, as mm -hmm. we were talking in the green room what's very see, see, there, you there you go what's very important um is just just like the fallout show does this has just like the gta 6 trailer does it captures miami perfectly okay it captures miami because this is my backyard okay and i know exactly all the shenanigans that go on here we have the joker we have twerking we got the south beach life and uh you know and and, and it's all good over here man so kudos to to them i thought what they did here was pretty cool uh they're holding a banana there so it's not you know uh, yeah that was the last part i love that that was hilarious this is kind of like the making of the video i thought yep. that they did a, a very good job and i wanted to you know i wanted to show them some some uh so i want to give them their kudos man they definitely deserve some props for that I, you showed that to me late, earlier this this afternoon we haven't really had a chance to chat about it Man, Chef's Kiss. That thing is amazing. Pretty creative. People need to watch it. People need to watch it. It is just hilarious how good they get that trailer. The essence, it's just perfection. It's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. And, and and again, it's just give them kudos because that must have taken a very long time to do to try, try to recreate things perfectly. So show your props there. Well, Okay, what uh, you you got something to show me? You said in the green room you want to show me something. What 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 you got? I show you a little a little something of mine. Now you show me a little something of yours. No diddy. Hey now, no diddy. Come on, come on. What no are we doing diddy, here? No diddy. So so I just wanted to show you some cool footage that I, that I captured, but okay. secretly you and I both know this is not footage that I'm capturing. This is literally from the old Xbox uh, 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 um, capture. This is basically capture footage from the Xbox. Oh, because guess what? You can now go into the Xbox online and literally have the full Xbox UI, just like right here. So it's cloud like gaming. You, you could you cloud total cloud gaming. Oh, right? I got you. We're not having a conversation about this about how about the show, how much we love it. If you pay attention, or if you're not paying attention, I might be just playing this game, and you don't even know because we could just do this live right now. There you so, go. Uh, and I mean, I I, I know that I know you're guilty of doing that. You're playing instead of podcasting. Okay, I've caught you before. No, no, no. Okay? I, I, never I never do that. I never do that. I never do that. I never do that. But I I kind of got a kick out of this because for a long time now, people know that if you want to be podcasting, right? The idea is oh. You're going to be, uh, if you want to, uh, uh, that is, if you want to stream footage, you have to have a streaming PC. The PC has to be capable, so capable that it's able to, to run the game as well as running the stream and all of this stuff at the same time. All bets are off. You can do it on an iPad at this point, right? Yep. Look at this thing. You yep. can literally just, just put it on the screen and bam, you're, you're playing your game and you're chatting with people and Please stop me because I'm going to start playing this thing. You know, it's <laughs> <cool>. <laughs> but let me tell then, you now. Now, when the you're big done, thing you is, can do one of these things. And this is the big one here that I wanted to talk to you about. So basically, they have figured out a way to kind of, I mean, the the UI is there. So I know yeah. that the big update here, the idea is, is that before when you're like in a party chat and you stop the and you would stop your game, what would happen is, mm -hmm. is that you would lose your connection to the party chat. And now what they did was it's basically the UI lives in the browser. So excellent. I mean, a little sneak is peek into the future. Everywhere. Huh? Look at this. Look at this. And, yeah. and by the way, real quick, because because on this show, this is what we do. We like to we like to share the wealth. We also like to share some knowledge if you want it. Uh, 
if you don't see this on your UI right now, you may already have it. You just may not have turned it on just yet. Not everyone gets it, but you might get it. Just go to your icon and then go under settings and then make sure preview features is enabled. If oh, there you go. It's enabled under yours. And of course, you have to be a, a Game Pass Ultimate member and all of that. But if you're if you're able to do it, preview features enabled, then I oh and I signed myself up. Oh, yep. <laughs> That's okay. So to do that. So well, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. I mean, I thought, you know, I, I think that they're definitely progressing to the future that we all want. So that's nice to see. Before <laughs> anything, Kay, welcome to Gamers Playground officially episode 33 that we have named Jump In. Uh, mm -hmm. we've named it that for a particular reason because so many of our uh of our friends and colleagues and uh and and you know chat mates are joining the the pc movement um you know that you we're, know what? we're what's that real quick i want to tell you i've been ideating about this all day and i think maybe you should you should give me your take on it i agree with you and i appreciated that you put the you put the the the, the theme together early this this afternoon and we started talking about it because I know people have had some, you know, have had some talk about, oh, the PC and this and that, you know. Uh, what do you think of this idea, right? The idea being that I know a lot of people have been talking about the MR, PCMR being a very bad oh. connotation. And, and, and I agree kind of with PCMR being a bad connotation. With your pinky, so, with your pinky sticking up every time you, you know, say it, you know, yeah. Well, you, you know what? Even that part is just jovial and ridiculous. But if you think of master race, it brings some bad connotations. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, so what I'm saying is, these days, I I would like to advocate that on this show, MR. Well, what our tagline being "Welcome to the gaming, the game, gamers playground," where we try to demystify the monolith known as PCMR. And on this show, MR would probably mean multi-platform respect. What do you think? I mean, it sounds good to me. You know that I always preach that non-missionary lifestyle. And what does that mean? That means that, you know, you game on your... Baby. That, that means that you start playing Fallout 76 on your Xbox. You move to your PC. Mm -hmm. You move to your handhelds. That's the dream. That's always been the dream. And we're yep. living in the dream. So I, I agree. I like it. Um, definitely going forward, that'll kind of be our... Uh, our tagline, I, I, I think, uh, you know, the, the MR stuff is fun to poke here and, 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 and there, but it is one of those things that yeah. it just keeps some people away from wanting to try PC because they think it's kind of snobbish and eh, we know how good we have it here. We don't got to rub it in anybody's face. You know what I'm saying? This but, man uh, is not going to leave you alone. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> look, I'm trying, I'm trying to turn over a new leaf. Okay. Nah, mm -hmm, I'm not. <laughs> you do that. You but, do that. <laughs> but uh, before anything, uh, Kay, I want to say thank you to yourself and fuzzy belvedere for last week for covering for me i was oh, out yeah. um you guys did a fantastic job i listened a little bit live on my way to where i was going and then i listened to the show uh right after and you guys knocked it out of the park i want to thank you guys and, and everybody in the chat that was here to support k and fuzzy that man let me tell you fuzzy he he can take this job any day of the week, man. All right, because Fuzzy Shout the pro, out to the great Fuzzy Belvedere, the man, the man, the yep. technologist in of, of himself. You know, the man knows what he's talking about. He's, oh yeah, it's real yeah, fun he can, with him. Yeah. He could take over this gig any day because he's that good. All right, so mm. to before we get started officially, we do have a super chat early. K, I'll, I'll let you read it off. It's from uh, it's from our good friend. Oh, I'm sorry, MJ Dark. Oh. Go ahead, you can. Uh, yeah, he's pulling your fraud card quickly. <laughs> <laughs> We're he all says, frauds, baby. Well, well, MJ Dark with a, with a five dollar super chat. Thank you, sir. I always appreciate you being here. He yeah, says, thanks. Thanks, "Hello, bro. John. I have an ROG, but I identify <laughs> as a Legion Go Wolf and Kaysante. Indie recommendations: Die Again and Anime Flux. Hmm. And hmm. also, just just to, just to add a little bit of spice into it, he says Keanu can't save Sonic. You saw that today, right? Keanu supposedly yeah, gonna play Shadow. That. Oh yes, man, indeed, the Sonic franchise yep. is yep. healthy, man. Yep. It's so healthy that everybody wants a piece of it. All right, uh -huh. so, <laughs> and I hope Nintendo wants a piece of it too, so I can rub it in everybody's uh -huh. face that I said that. Of course, right? of course. So, yep. so, so, okay. We're, this show is gonna be dedicated. Um, I, I really. I've seen so many of our colleagues in our DMs and in our Discord, uh, which cheap plug, 
join our discord we have great conversations in there and sometimes we the the gamers playground and gcp show continue after hours in there okay where we uh, kind of get loose and have a couple of drinks and just really take it r-rated so uh join us in there and uh you'll you'll you won't regret it but so many of our colleagues k so many people on on twitter or on the timeline i've seen just saying hey i think that i've reached my my tipping point with consoles for whatever reason some people are frustrated with the performance some people are are frustrated with the marketing and some people are just looking for something new you know what i'm saying yeah. so yeah. We've seen a lot of people. Um, we've seen a lot of people get PCs. Um, the last two weeks, I was going back and forth with my with my cousin because he's always wanted to get a PC, and he was asking me for advice. And I kind of told him, "Look, this is like, give me your price range, give me what you want to accomplish, what's going on in your life, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. And he ended up getting a handheld, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about that. But before anything, Kay, I do have uh, some some. Uh, a little subtopic that we can get into. Um, did you see that there is, and this is exciting, especially for us handheld gamers. Did you see that these companies are going to start uh, making uh, SD cards for terabytes now? Did you see those headlines? Did you see anything about that? I did that? see that. I definitely see. I, I've see, I've been keeping a close eye on what's going down with the with the the the, the higher terabyte SSD uh, SD cards. And it yep. looks kind of interesting, you know. That there's, I would always advocate that you go for your storage card, your your actual SD card. Uh, what I'm talking about, SSD or M.2, for example, instead of your SD card if you're at that high terabyte. But the fact that that option is available is pretty interesting. You know? It's very, it's very interesting right now. It looks like uh, these, like like these uh, SanDisk cards are going to be out in 2025. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. but you know what's going to happen right after you, we got to think that micro SD is on the way. And when we get four terabytes of storage on a handheld, oh man, you can be carrying around literally five terabytes worth of games. K. I I mean, Indeed. The, the, like we, like, I know, look, a lot of time we just, and, and I'm guilty of it. We're all guilty of it. We kind of focus on the negative but man, we really have to look at where we are today because if you would have told me when this generation of gaming, right, with with the with the Series X and the PS5 and the 3090s of the world, that we we're gonna be able to carry around in 2025 five terabytes worth of games in the palm of our hands, I would have told you, okay, get out of here, man. You're trying to sell me a dream. So, so okay. I was going to keep this for next week, and I'm going to keep this for next week. But because you talked about so many terabytes in the palm of your hand, I'll just do one of these things. Oh, what do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. What do this we is, have here? Are you are glorious? You, are we, you betraying we shall talk about it next week. The AOK -okay Zoe? Uh, are we throwing <laughs> in the towel on the AOK -okay Zoe? Well, well, okay, okay. Real quick, I will say, look, these days in the position that I, 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 I find myself, it is difficult to break out a candy bar gaming handheld at the office. You do yeah. that, and people start looking at, "Hey, this this man, he's the head of blah blah blah." And <laughs> look, look hold what he's on. Doing. Let me interrupt you real fast. This uh, is the uh, show where we teach you how to get away with gaming in the office. Go ahead. Well, this, this is my point, right? This is my <laughs> point. You know, you you get into the office, you suited, you booted, you you're sitting there trying to be all professional, like you know, you're maybe in the upper echelons of your organization. You ain't breaking out a a candy bar handheld and gaming like what what, what is yeah. that you know hey, hey do you hey k do you got that report ready what do you what is this a game boy what are you doing see see but, but see here's my point i'm usually going hey man do you have that ready hey hey man are you are you here <laughs> oh i need to have a meeting with this person hey what's going on and then you break out a candy bar yeah so, this, yeah, so now on? now now you break Maybe out a this... mini laptop. You oh, break out on. just a mini laptop. Wait, okay, wait a second. Are you telling me that this thing, because I'm looking at it right now for the first time that you just flipped it. Are you telling me that the that the control sticks and the D-pad is covered up so that no one can see uh, what it is? I don't know what you're talking about, sir. <laughs> All I'm showing you is my mini laptop. And then when when ain't when ain't nobody looking, <laughs> boom! You hit them up like a transformer. I'm sorry. There'll be more next week. There'll be more that, next week. All right. Shout out to we, the, the to the to the shout out to MJ Dark, the handheld oh, the handheld master. Come on, he's aka a, he's Latin arms quarters. Dealer. You know what it is. Yeah, he's an arms dealer. Listen, listen, oh, yes. listen. A little a little personal information. I just finished paying mm -hmm. off that man, and I feel like if I have 
uh, Leon from the professional off my back. Okay, because uh, mm. he is he is the he's, professional. He's in the backyard with a sniper. Yeah, yep. that's right. he's like he's like, go, come on, man. Oh, come on, man. I, I'm waiting for that payment. No, I'm just playing. I'm playing. That's right. MJ Dark guys, honestly, the one of the best resellers ever that I've ever dealt with. Um, and not only because he's our friend and, and our colleague, but honestly, great, great, great guy, great community member. And uh, he'll literally show you, oh, what's going on here? That is amazing. That oh, is amazing. Wow. That is amazing. <laughs> okay. I like it. Personal you know, computer missionary rants. That, that's what we're going to have to do. Folks who watch this show. Find us new meanings for the word PCMR because we don't like what it means. We're talking, we're talking multi-plat respect. This guy's talking about missionary rants. Let's go. I don't know about that. I mean, Slow Mo wants to keep the t the, the slogan around. <laughs> uh, we got, we do got one more super chat. Okay, I'll let you read it from our good friend Floodzilla. Just came ah, in. Ah, okay. Flood with a five dollar super chat. Good day to you, sir. He says, I'm actually jumping into 76 right now at this there minute. Kudos yeah. to you on jumping on to another fine episode, gentlemen. Thank you so much, man. We got to get him on. We, we yeah, got to get Floodzilla on, man. We, we definitely, Flood, I don't know. I don't know how you're feeling. I don't know how your situation is as far as podcasting, but we would love to have you on the show. You can you can speak the word of the penguins. <laughs> <laughs> he's team red. For red. <laughs> yeah, he's team red all the way. So we we, we yeah. definitely and, and I ain't talking about team red from Fallout. He's not part of the Chinese uh -huh. Communist Party here. Okay, but hey, I'm just saying, okay. But uh he's definitely team red, uh AMD yes, all sir. the way. So Floodzilla, we'll get you on, man. We'll work yeah, something out if, if you want to, and you know, anybody else in the chat that would like to join, just send me a K a message and we'll work it out. But uh, but yeah, okay. So, um, in talking to to my cousin, you know, these past two weeks, uh, talking to him, he was like, "Hey, John, I know that you game on everything. Uh, you have everything, etc. You're you're kind of the go to when it comes to gaming stuff in the family. I I I own a Series X and I own a PS5. Um, talk to me about about which PC I can get." And I told him, "Okay." Tell me a little bit about your situation. Why is it that you're looking to jump into PC? What are you not getting from your consoles, etc.? The his his main thing was that he felt that he kept on seeing everywhere that games were missing either Xbox or PlayStation. Like he really wanted to play Undisputed, which is that boxing game on Steam. And yes, he, uh, he, Fuzzy talked about it last week. Yeah. Yep. He he's a big big sports uh sports mm -hmm. gamer. He plays UFC, all that good stuff. And mm -hmm, he's mm -hmm. been wanting. It. And he's like, I've been waiting for this game to hit either PlayStation or Xbox. And I told him, look, PC is going to be your go to for first access. It's just the way it is, unless one of these companies signs exclusives, which everybody knows here. I don't need to explain that to anybody here. So then, mm -hmm. um, when I I asked him. Tell me a little bit more about your situation, what's going on, all that's good stuff. He told me, you know, with with uh, the balance between his work, uh, he's in law enforcement and the uh, and 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 the two kids that he has, etc. It's life is getting kind of busy for him. So I told him, have you ever seen one of these? And I showed him the the Lenovo Legion Go and I showed him mm -hmm. the ROG Ally and I started talking to him and I said, do you know what these are? And he goes, what are those? And I go, these are actually PCs in my hand. And he goes, mm -hmm. what do you mean? Like, that's an actual PC. I showed him how to navigate the PC. I showed him all the launchers I have. I showed him my Steam library. I showed him deals.gg. He literally went in two days after, and he ended up getting the Lenovo Legion Go because he liked the bigger form factor. And now my cousin is in the deep waters of PC gaming and trying to figure out emulation. Okay? And just like that, he one of the things that he told me was that he was a little... He was scared to jump in. He 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 didn't think that all the games would run. He thought that he, that he would have to tweak and, and mm -hmm. not work, but tweak a lot. And he would have to kind of figure things out just to get going. And he and he's like, I talked to him the other day and goes, John, honestly, all I do is start the game and I don't even mess with the settings. And they work for the most part. And I'm like, mm -hmm. there you go. Mm -hmm. When you start learning a little bit more, you'll start seeing that, okay, should I move the slider this way, slider that way, start reading up on things. And little by little, he's going to be a pro anytime soon. And guess what? Then he called me because he's all excited. He goes, hey, man, I'm, I think I'm definitely going PC next gen. Just like that. Okay. And this is a casual gamer that never touched a PC in his life. Okay. Overwhelmed with a PC, kind of like myself before this generation. So, I That's mean, why 
I mean, we may or may not have the Everborn console mm-hmm. betrayer saga coming on next week to talk about his build. There you go. <laughs> Hashtag show me your build. TM I mean, to the ILP. We'll let him so talk it, about what he down. did. We'll <laughs> let him talk about what he did because he showed uh-huh. us in the DM. He has a nice setup. Mm-hmm. So that's I'll just Indeed. leave it there. He has a mm-hmm. monster build, a nice setup, and I think that he... I think that he saw the light, sir. I, I think that he saw the light. So, well, oh, so, so let's let's be clear. Let's be clear, right? We're, we're trying. We're, we're speaking for the tent is big. Anyone and everyone that wants to be a part can be a part, right? Not everyone will want to be a part of the equation. As far as you know, maybe speeds and feeds aren't important to you, right? Right. But then at least. Once you understand what's going on, then it won't bother you that you're stuck at a certain frame rate or you're stuck at a, with certain uh, concessions or whatever. If those speeds and feeds are important to you, by speeds and feeds, I mean, you know, you oh, are you path traced? Oh, do you see all the ray tracing? Oh, do, is your frames the best it can be? Then maybe it's time to start, you know, pushing in the in the in the in the the PC. Uh, <laughs> missionary rant <laughs> <laughs> or or like my cousin it wasn't my cousin wasn't even performance um mm-hmm. a, a performance thing he, it I'm was just you, getting games it right? was getting, getting all the games, games that he mm-hmm. that he felt like if he was missing on and not yeah, only that yeah. but then when i showed him deals.gg his his mind just oh yeah that emoji oh yeah you know what i'm saying the mind right. blown emoji. Right. i always say that pcs are like the tesla of gaming you a little high up front cost but then What's a gas station? Just keep it moving, right? Yep. What's yep. a what's a seventy dollar game? You know, day one you could pay half price, if not more. So. Yep. And he yeah. liked the idea of that he would be able to dock the Legion Go. I showed him the dock that he has to get, all that mm-hmm. good stuff. And then, you know, honestly, I think I kind of predicted what was going to happen with him, which I told him, look, since you have, since you told me about your two little ones, I do mm-hmm. think what's going to happen to you is that you're going to start being a handheld gamer a lot. And I think that that's pretty much where he's been ever since he bought this thing, because the convenience, turn it on, mm. play, put it down, take care of the little one and keep going. So before we continue this show, I have to ask, sir, I have to ask, we kind of, you, you strategically took a day off last week, so we couldn't really <laughs> hold your feet to the fire you know what oh, I mean? we let's couldn't go. call you I'm to ready. the carpet oh i'm you know? ready i have to ask and this is just a genuine question when was the last time you turned on your go uh your 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 uh uh rog ally sir has the legion go taken over your life i have primarily game on the legion go but i did play i did play on the rog ally with the egpu last week mm-hmm. With the hmm. eGPU, so the the little grown man switch, but in but in portable mode, I haven't used it since the since the Legion Go got here. So so how, you know how's your is? Legion Go experience? Hit, 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 give give me the give me the broad strokes. How's your Legion Go experience? Well, right how's the, the software ba- differences and all that? Yeah, look, the software it's pretty much um, just a new coat of paint. To be honest with hmm. you, um, there's something. Look, I there there's something off with the frame counter on this that mm-hmm. I don't know if I have to download the software again, but the frame counter is not working, but that's fine. I'm using the AMD one. It's not a biggie. Um, mm-hmm. The software has been updated. I uh, just got an update uh, in April so that you can configure the, the buttons and all that good stuff. So uh, Lenovo's getting there. I still think that Asus is, is still <laughs> Umbra's one of us, man. He he understands. I, I, well, I, no, of us. Of us. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I I do see I do see Lenovo um wanting to do good. I still think that Asus has a little bit of a leverage on them. Where Asus really, you could tell that they're hungry for this market. Um, but I think that Lenovo also wants yeah. to be in these waters, you know, because of course, of course they do. So. Well, oh, how are in- Intel handhelds? Let, let, yeah, let's ha- let's answer Brad's question. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, it's funny. It's funny you mentioned that because the the handheld master in the chat right now. I, I hope you're still there. He and I were actually chatting re- relatively uh, w- w- recently, like what was it, uh, an hour or so ago? Because he recently got himself the the One X player, which is basically a handheld. It's a a handheld laptop uh handheld uh, um tablet, tablet if you will yep. it yep. it screams uh uh surface energy right it's like a surface pro energy right with 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 little controllers or joy con likes on the side and he's saying he loves it right he really loves it if it wasn't for the various uh um the various reviewers the the top end reviewers 
showing the differences between the AMD variant versus the Intel variant, you wouldn't even know. Though, the, yes, exactly the the one X the the uh, the one X player X one. Uh, yeah. Shout out to you. Uh, I would say, Brad, reach out to MJ Dark, have a quick chat chat about it because he seems to be loving that thing, you know. And and he's saying, with with the exception of there you go, with yep. the exception of the metrics that you compare between the AMD variant, sometimes it fails in comparison. But beyond that, thing runs great. It's doing really, it's doing magic. You know, and, it's, it's actually worthy. And Brad. Uh, subscribe to MJ Dark's channel, YouTube channel, mm. and, and MJ Dark. If you're there, and I see that you're there, post your channel there so that people can subscribe. Because I know that Absolutely. we talked in the background, and you're gonna start putting gameplay videos of different games running on your various devices. And whoever's interested, man, subscribe. Whenever he puts something live, or or he'll take requests and and he'll play the game so that you can see how it runs on on these various devices, man. So definitely, uh. Yep. Hit them up, and and I think that'll be a that'll be a good thing, but um, but Kay, what were you what were you telling me? You're no, I, I honestly think that that the world we live in today is magic. It, it is magic. You have these handhelds, these things that are literally in your hands, you know, and 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 you can take your 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 multiplayer, your 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 triple A, your monster games with you, and they by and large play like so darn well like yeah i've seen some some reviews of this thing and, and again i will i will report back but i've seen 70 frames plus on on like uh, uh what do you call it on uh um cyberpunk games like that obviously wow. concessions you know you're not gonna putting on path traced and everything's crazy blaring but who cares you're on the go you're playing your games right uh, yeah but here's the this, thing this is the new world but mm -hmm. but here's here's the thing. Don't 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 um don't knock it though because the quality that comes in on the smaller screen it still looks yeah. excellent at lower Absolutely. settings. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It, yeah. it's it just looks excellent. And I will tell you this: I do have to give you and uh, MJ Dark uh, your props on. You guys had told me this before from your various different devices that you owe. If you can get away from seven inch screens, guys. Because the seven inch mm. screens, the real estate on them, hey, it gets the job done. Don't get me wrong. Yep. But the but yep. but you know the the eight point eight and the ten uh inch screens pause, they they just it 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 enhances 10 .1, the game. baby. Ten point yeah. one, it's a thing. I'm just saying. <laughs> Dude, it really, it really enhances the game. Like I've been playing yeah. a lot of Yakuza Zero on the Legion mm -hmm. Go, and it's magical. The, the the colors really pop the characters like look really like like you know like large paws again it, it, you know because because it's an eight inch screen right there you're holding it so it's it's really good man you know and and this yeah. is going kind of weird so let me let me uh let's change the subject <laughs> real quick i'm feeling kind of weird talking like this about it so just uh -huh, just get it going. guys just trust me okay yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, just, just Eight eight point area or up is is what I what I recommend. All right. So then, not speaking from well, now I am speaking from experience. I'm telling you this this is weird. Let, let's 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 get on here. Okay. So Keep Kay, so Kay, we've had uh, colleagues of ours ask us, hey, where tell family members, colleagues, hey, Kay, this is my price range. Should I build a PC? Should I buy a pre built? Mm -hmm. Should I buy a handheld? Should I should I should I buy something on eBay? Should I buy something on the secondary market, like from MJ Dark, et cetera, et cetera? <laughs> there, the the correct the answer. Latin quarters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> it's running a cartel back there, man. Okay, <laughs> the the correct answer for me, K. What's up, Fuzzy? Mm -hmm. I gave you a shout out earlier, man. If you didn't hear me, thank you for covering for me last week. I appreciate it, man. So, K, I think that the right answer, and you tell me if you agree with me, is anywhere that you can get in is the right answer what you can afford okay yep. how much you're willing to, how much you're willing to spend it also a lot a, a lot depends on your situation are you are you someone that you just want to tip your toe are you someone that you want to dive in are you someone that you want the best mid range mm -hmm. there are so many entry level points here points of entry better better said that me and Kay are going to go over them a little bit. Kay, do you want to go first, or you want me to go first on? Sure, some, yeah, some no things? worries, no worries. Yeah, we we can definitely go in, go get into this. So, I think so. Let, let me share some of my, my stuff here. So, let me share what's on my screen. So, people want to know, you know, how to get in. Let's say you want to get into a PC, right? 
The big misconception is, oh, PC is too expensive. Is it going to be more expensive than console? You're damn right it will be. 100%. But you must know what you're getting. That's why I always say hashtag get a PC. When I say hashtag get a PC, I'm not talking about go purchase a PC, but I mean get as in grok. Yeah, and you're not being snarky. You're not being snarky either. Yes. I mean, understand what you're getting with a PC, right? Beyond the gaming of it, you get so much more. Whether you want that or not is not the choice. That's part and parcel of the PC experience. You can say, look, I understand what a PC is about now, and I still choose to game on a console and take the concessions with which I, I, I get them, right? And that's like, shout out to Mr. Boomstick. That's boom, right? He has he could he could get his hands on any PC he wants. He chooses to play locked on on PC uh, on console, and if that comes with concessions, so be it. He just hits the button and he's playing his game. And there's nothing, nothing wrong. With I mean, that, sometimes right? you're in the mood to do that. I, I turned on exactly. the PlayStation the other day, and I'm you know that's fine. Absolutely, but if you do want to get into a PC, but you're just like, oh, it might be too expensive, thousands of dollars. Here's an option for you. This is. 800 bucks, 799. Yes, it is far more expensive than a console. Let's be clear about that. It is. But with this device, you're getting yourself something far more performant than a, than a console would be, right? And if you pay, if you if you look at what what it's offering, this is an i5 processor which is comparable, actually even more comparable than a PC than a than a console. This is a 3050 card which the Series X in its heyday was compared to a, a 20 series card. So you're basically getting a higher performance uh, uh, machine than this, right? It is, it is your entry level for a PC, hand, uh, for a PC uh, uh, environment, but you could plug this into your HDTV, right? As some people already have, right? You, you can play, you can perform really high frame rates on certain games. Uh, you can... And, and the key here, the reason why I say this is advantageous for you is not necessarily because you'll hit super high frame rates. No, it's because you have the option to try. Right. That's the difference here, right? Yep, you're not locked Whether down. the Xbox can handle it or not is not the point. They lock it in and you're yep. done. Whether yep. the PS5 can handle it or not is not the point. The point is they give you what they give you and you don't complain because that's what you're getting in the pc in the console well, space. i mean we are complaining and that's the problem well this is my point if <laughs> yep. you are complaining then maybe you want something more performant you want to mm -hmm. take the 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 you want to take the ball into your own hands and try to figure it out yourself that's when something like this becomes it, more advantageous let me let me let me put it like this because i was in those shoes mm -hmm. and and i i'm speaking from experience recently mm -hmm. if you're finding yourself frustrated with the console Mm -hmm. frustrated because you're like i know this thing can do more the marketing lied they were dishonest maybe it couldn't maybe i took the bait and switch yep. you've already in my opinion you've already outgrown what yes. console experience is now yeah. if you're okay with sitting down and you're like my cousin you know that he turns it on and he thought everything was running 4k 60 he thought even the 30 frame per game games, he thought they were 4K60 because he doesn't mm -hmm. know any better. He doesn't look at videos. He doesn't watch yep. digital insight and all that stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. So he 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 didn't know anything. But if you're yep. already getting frustrated and flustered and, and you're like, man, why is this game only running 30, et cetera, yep. et cetera? It's time. That's your yep. warning. It's time. If you care, if you care about the speeds and feeds, then maybe you've outgrown a console. Right. Yep. Here's another another option, and this is just one of many options. A lot of these devices, this device here, this device here. Yep. Right. Uh, uh, Mr. 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 John Wolf's uh, Legion Go and his ally all run the same kind of processor, the 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 Z1 Extreme. Right. That's literally what's running in here, but a little bit more performant. Now these guys. The, the variant of processor that's run, running in here is the same kind of processor, but it's not geared for battery life. It's geared for plugging into the wall. Yep. So you still get the same GPU, but you get a higher performance CPU, right? And unlike the Ally, this thing can up, be upgraded with, an, with a, with a uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, a e -GPU. Uh, um, U, e GPU, but USB 4. Yep. Right, so it doesn't have to be a proprietary thing. You can literally buy any that you, that you want to basically uh, the, the, that you want. Right, 
it's not necessarily about getting the best of the best of the best. Because if you want the best, you you can get the best, right? Yep. But yep. even if you can't afford the best and you want to get in there and you upscaling, it's literally what the consoles do today. For what is it? Two hundred five hundred and eighty dollars. You're in there, right? And this thing is literally a higher performant go, a higher performant ally. It's got your 32 gigs. Am I wrong? Yeah, 32 gigs of RAM, terabyte of storage. You, you can have the interface for, for, uh, for uh, what do you call it? For uh, 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 um, play night? Steam big picture mode. Steam oh. big picture mode. Oh, right? yep. Or play you don't, night. You don't want that. You can do play night. Heck, you can do one of these. Yep. Right? They're all available to you. These are your options. And you're playing your games. And and the reason why I advocate that this is something you should do is because you care about the speeds and feeds. If you do, then this is what it'll take to get you higher level of frames than you can get currently with your console. Absolutely. And the price is all right. Absolutely. And I think I, I think what's slowly happening is mm -hmm. this is something that I noticed. The the our good our good friends and our colleagues that we have in the in the YouTube space. We we're talking about games nonstop 24-7. This is what we live for. I think mm -hmm. that there comes a time where we kind of graduate out of being, I, I guess you can say, kind of sheltered into a safe zone of what a console can provide because the consoles are great. There's people that absolutely love just turning it on, like you mentioned, boom, turning it on, playing and going, mm -hmm. and you're not worried about anything, right? The problem mm -hmm. is, is that when you're enthralled in this hobby like we are, whether you want to or not, you get into these conversations because you're watching yeah. the videos, you're watching the performance, you're watching all this stuff, and unless you're completely zoned out that you just cut yourself from social media and YouTube and all that good stuff, you, it's going to be in your face. It's going to yeah. be in your face. And it's been if that you way. are right now butthurt, forgive yes. me for saying that. No, way. no, absolutely. If you are now butthurt at the idea of playing Hellblade at 30 frames, this is for you. Yeah, it's you might time. play at 40, you might play at 45. And yes, I see you in the chat, Polly Baba. Yeah, you can plug this into your OLED. 100% you can. Yeah. And if you got an OLED that's got VRR at 40, 45 frames per second, it'll take you the rest of the way. You smooth yep. as butter. How about this? Not only does it take care of your current library and everything coming out, but it also takes mm -hmm. care of what is real, what we call the real uh, way of game preser preservation, and that's through emulation. Okay, yeah, that sure. it's it's the true form of of preservation because there's even people now that they're that they're scared that they're gonna take their physical media away, and like you've talked before in other shows, there's nothing on those discs. Those are those yep. are basically and, and by the way, upholders. Real quick, to your point, what you just made, uh, I talked about it on GCP this weekend. Literally, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, Ubisoft is pulling games the out of your library. The crew. They're yeah. pulling them out of your library. Yep. So yep. it's happening today. <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. So this is this is the thing, right? Because like like Kea Sante mentioned the... Like, like for example, the 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 example that you gave with playing Hellblade at thirty, and if you're feeling a certain way about that, that you just feel mm -hmm. like if you were lied to, like if the like if the developers aren't pushing the boxes, whatever the, your reason is, right? The bottom line is is that if you want to pay for that performance, you can. You're not stuck. You're not. Mm -hmm. You're not. You're not stuck to a console, but. With all that said, let's still, again, because we want to take that MR connotation off of here, what the consoles offer are a good, solid experience. We're not saying that they're not good on yeah. here. Let's not yeah. get that twisted because it's good enough. But the problem Absolutely. is, is that you want, once you get to that upper echelon of gaming, and what I mean by that is that you're really paying attention to engines, frames, mm -hmm. resolutions, all that good stuff. That's your that's kind of your sign and your signal. Hey, I I want to I want to I want a little bit more. Okay? Yeah. You're 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 already out of high school and now you're going on to college. 
Okay. So that, and, and, and that's the best way I can say it because it's, it's honestly like, you know, all you get on the console and it's, and it's designed like that because, because of a convenience thing. And because the developers want to control it, all you get mm -hmm. is, is a little, is a little switch to do resolution mode or performance mode. That's it. You're mm -hmm. still in high yeah. school. Okay, yep. so if you want to graduate, well, it's convenience. You know, it's, it's right. you get what you pay for. You are paying for convenience, and there's but nothing wrong with that, right? But, but if but you understand, but well, it's also your convenience. You hit the yeah. button, you're playing the the game. But it's what if they you, think is convenient for everyone. Sure, sure, sure. It, it yeah. is. It is the turnkey solution for you, right? If yep. you're okay with that, if you want to hit your button, play your game, and you're fine with all of that, absolutely. That doesn't mean you don't get a PC. You, of course, get a PC. You understand that in the PC world, you may configure a little bit more. You may have to make it your way a bit more in order to get the best out of it, right? But then you get all of the frames, as it were, versus the console where that decision is not yours. It's taken right. out of your hand. But what you do get because of the decisions out of your hand is they give you the least common denominator. They give you the best turnkey solution. You hit the button, you hit play, and it's playing. Right? Yep. If you understand that and you're cool, if you're not the one complaining about uh, about uh, uh, Hellblade running at 30 or the, or the marketing or worried or worried about uh, 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 what do you call it? GTA six potentially running at 30. If you're not that person that goes, I don't care, then this is not for you. Right. right. You still get a PC. You understand what it what it offers, but you choose to game on a console. Nothing right. wrong with that. Right. But if you do feel upset. If you do feel like, come on, man, it should do more. Oh, I want to see the best available thing to me. Then it's time to start getting into the shallow, get away from the shallow water and get into, into a little bit of the deeper water. And things like this can help you, right? You don't have to start building your own beast. You don't. You can literally buy this thing for 700 bucks. That literally comes with the 7840U, but it's not 7840U. It's the 7840HS, which is the, the U is the battery version. The HS is the, I don't need a battery. I have a plug. So now you have all the frames. You have all the power that it can offer. Right. And it comes with exactly the same GPU as it does in this guy and in the Ally and in the Legion Go. And it can upscale like you'd expect it to. It can plug into your OLED like you'd expect it to. You know, you're going to have to decide what you want as far as a front end or something like that. You know, do you want to use Steam big picture mode? Do you want to use the, the Game Pass full screen mode? Uh, uh, you guys have so seen me put what I what I worked on as far as the 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 uh, what do you call it? the play night front end or the big box front end. But once you have that all square, you have yourself a nice setup, and you never have to worry about someone else locking down your frames. If absolutely. you you can do more, then you do more. You know, uh, absolutely. And let me let me show let me show off because this is how I got my first PC, and I know. Mm -hmm. It look, however, you get your first PC, don't let anybody make you feel bad about it. Don't, you know, it because I hear people saying, Oh, why did you buy pre build? You should have built. Look, what, however, you, you want to get in because you don't want to build something yourself, you don't want to learn. This is literally how I jumped in, K, which was mm -hmm. I went to I went to Best Buy and I there bought myself know. a pre build. Okay. And now the, the, the prices vary. It, I, I think I bought my PC, my first PC from Best Buy, I think for a thousand two hundred, it had a 3060 in it at the time. And then little by little, I, I, you know, I got, I got rid of it and I build my own, but that, that was when I already matured a little bit and I said, Hey, you know what? I want a little bit more performance on my side, but the price ranges vary. I mean, look, we can go down to 500, 549. Yeah. Six ninety nine. So yep. if 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 the fear is price for the same price of uh, basically of a uh, uh, of a Series X or uh or a PS five, you can get in here for five fifty. You it's not. And, and it, to your point, Best Buy is your backbone. You get yep. yourself a Best Buy uh, subscription as far as their total care. Yep. Anytime there's an issue, you walk into a Best Buy office and go, "Hey, man." This is crap. Fix it. This, exactly. is, this is not working. Replace or, it. And they or, got you. It's great. Or or in the total care also, what they do is let's mm -hmm. say, let's say that you're with the PC for a year and you're like, hey, you know what? I'm ready. I've saved up some money. I want to buy another graphics card. Guess what? You go there. And if you're paying for that total care, they tell you this is a graphics card that you can get. And then they'll even install it for you. And you don't even have to worry about that. 
So, I mean, we're yeah. living, we're living like in a time where we really don't have to worry about doing things ourselves anymore. If, of course, it's going to cost you a little bit of money because everybody's going to charge you for their services. But if you do have the money that you're, that you're in a good place, that you, that you're fortunate enough, you can get in. But guess what? I have, I have a little secret for some people as well to try out some PC gaming and, and Kay, I'll let you go ahead after this and I'll, I'll tell them that. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. So what I was going to say was, one thing that I told my cousin before he bought anything, I told him, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to, to grab your Xbox controller, Bluetooth connected to your phone, and download GeForce Now. Okay? Mm. He downloaded GeForce Now. He signed up for it for a month. He started playing the games through there. He saw how mm -hmm. flawless they run. I showed him what yep. frames, per, for frames per second were. I showed him what resolutions it can go up to. He was sold. He goes, wow, I didn't know that there were so many options even for streaming. So if 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 you're someone that you're like, hey, John and Kay, this is all great and dandy, but you got to understand I was only able to get a Series S because that's my budget. We get you. But guess what? On that Series S or through your phone, which you probably own, you can sign up for GeForce Now and guess what you're doing? You're PC gaming. You're literally PC gaming or handheld like the like the like the uh, Logitech G Cloud, you can be PC gaming without even the yeah. need to buy a PC. I gotta tell you, the best way, the best way to play Dragon's Dogma 2 right now. There you go. Why? Because anytime there's a new performance processor out there, uh, uh what do you call it? GeForce will upgrade their hardware. Right, you don't have to worry about getting a better card, you don't have to worry about getting a better CPU, they do the work for you. You just right. hit play and get all the frames, right? And Governor Grimm, thanks for joining us. We actually we're not talking about a particular deal, we're just talking to you guys pretty much of all the different ways that all of our fellow gamers in the community can get into PC gaming if they want mm -hmm. to, because we've seen that there's like this movement of people saying hey I, I think i'm outgrown i think i've outgrown the consoles i i i, I think i want to jump into pc and we're just trying to put out the message out there that it really doesn't matter what your price range is some people think that oh man i don't have five thousand dollars to build a pc i've literally heard people say that on yeah. shows it doesn't take five thousand which is ridiculous it does not unless you live in unless you live in Australia and even there I think <laughs> I think it's not it's not that much you know unless yeah. you live in Australia which the prices are a little higher I get it yeah. but you can get in without getting like the monster rig and still get more than you would get from a from a console yes uh, Andre Doyle thank you so much for being here two dollars super chat he says he's got a a, a Lenovo LOQ 15 inch with a RTX uh, 40 4050 nice. 13th gen i5 with gddr6 laptop that will serve you perfectly sir. You, <laughs> we you'll got, be able to get all your gaming done we got uh we got a special uh uh message here it only takes three thousand dollars to get in okay nah, yeah, nah, yeah, Lucius, yeah. We, <laughs> so, so you the reason why Lucius in. says that <laughs> the reason why Lucius says that is because uh we were on a show i think we were on on, on a show uh, with with slow-mo and he was like, oh, yeah. look, man, you can get in without without it being so expensive. <laughs> look at my bill that it's two thousand nine hundred. Listen, we literally just showed this off here and it just goes to show you. Now, remember, for our more seasoned veterans, mm -hmm. uh, understand that this is not for us. OK, yeah. but like I showed off before for five hundred and forty nine dollars. OK, yep. you can get in. You can get in. Yes, it's not. It's not a beast. No one is, is arguing that, okay? But people can get in for $549. It is now, more than you would get as far as performance with a console. There you go. And and that's right. and that's yeah. the thing. You know, yes, for me in UK, we've we've out kind of grown that PC. We we expect a little bit more for our taste, but hey, if I if I had think to think of it this way. Think of it this way. You don't jump into the deep end when you start swimming. You jump into the shallow end. And exactly. eventually, you get deeper and deeper as you mature. If you want to just get into the waters and you think peace, you think console is too, is too limiting for you these days, start small, right? Uh, when you start small, the key isn't the performance. The key is you having the ability to control it yourself. 
Because right. then instead of watching the uh, uh, stuff like uh, Digital Foundry for the for the console war aspect, you'll watch Alex's uh, what do you call it? His his best his best settings f- for mid range PCs or low range PCs, and you'll go, oh well, I got that. And then you'll tweak a little bit of this. You'll tweak a little bit of that. Maybe the shadows will go to basic versus enhanced. And then before long, you're playing games like like a uh, uh, control at 60 frames per second on a machine that is basically the same price, if not comparable to a Series X, right? At 60 there, frames. I, I agreed 100%. And, and, you know, look, let me tell you something from a, from a lifelong gamer, just like, just like most people here probably in the chat, like yourself, Kay. And, and Kay, and I know you've been in the PC space for a while, so maybe mm-hmm. this, maybe you haven't felt this in a while. When, mm-hmm. There's something special when you get into the PC waters as a gamer, there's something special when you start look when you really start um, appreciating all of the benefits that you get from being on the PC side. It's like it, it's it's so many benefits from pricing to deals to your to your library instantly growing overnight. And yes, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say that Xbox and PlayStation and Nintendo do not put put up good sales, but you can't compete. You it just can't. Yeah. And cannot, I've grown no. and, and I've grown my Steam library, and I'm proud to say it with very little money in the last two years to over 400 games. And I and in my history with, with Xbox, which I was gaming there forever, I literally own 560 games. So I'm almost there in two years. Yeah. Uh, you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's just uh, uh again, I think that little by little, when people start tipping their toes, they start looking at these benefits. Um, there's so many good benefits. And again, we, we just wanted to come on the show and show everyone that depend it, 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 wherever your price range is, you can get in. And I have another thing that I think is good for, for people that you might be thinking, Hey, I, I just like my console too much guys. I, I don't want to mess with the settings. Do you know what, what my answer to you is get a steam deck. You can yeah. get a Steam Deck for as low as three forty nine now. The LCD yep. model, the sixty four gigs. Get mm-hmm. yourself a Steam Deck. Start playing with it. Start messing around with it, and you'll see how little by little you'll start going to that desktop, installing emulators, installing this and that, and little by little you'll call yourself a PC gamer. It's just it. I I, I experienced it myself. That's why I'm kind of advocating for it. So. Yep. Okay, what um what what do you want to close out this this topic with just to let people know? Is there well, anything actually, else? You, you know, you know what? I, I appreciate that you brought the idea of get a Steam Deck because you know there are lots of there are lots of different options available to you. Uh uh, uh you also mentioned GeForce Now. Uh GeForce Now, like Steam, has a very interesting feature that most people just aren't aware of. And I think it's 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 worth mentioning, right? Uh so in the PC world, right? Everybody talks, oh, you got to go tweak this and you got to go tweak that. Yes, there's tweaking to be done if you so choose. That is not to be denied, right? But they have already solved this problem. This is this is what people were talking about when, uh, when folks were talking about, hey, what, what will Microsoft do if they forego, for example, the console, right? What if they make only, they only allow you to make the, the PC variant? What happens to the console players? Oh, console players are not used to just the PC variant. They want to be able to play this. They want to play that. Yep. This, what you're looking at, ladies and gentlemen, is GeForce Now. This is GeForce Now before you load any games, right? And these are a bunch of games that are available. These are This, this represents either games that are available on their platform and games, if you, if you look at the, the, the headers, games that are available based on my library, right? So, And let's be clear, you won't have all of them available to you. I have right. way more than 251 games, but only 251 currently show up, which is fine, right? Which is which is which is not the worst thing. Oh, and that that's one thing that's very odd about GeForce now. When you change the screen, it still stays stuck. So what you guys are seeing right now is only my initial screen. But if you if, if I if I switch it back, it should give me hold on here. Will it do it? No, and Kay, and while you go working yeah. on that, I yeah. actually mm-hmm. and 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 I I'm so glad, eat fresh guy, that you're here and that you're and mm-hmm. that you're saying this to us because yeah, we we want to know. I for me, when I sold, I I got a Steam Deck early earlier than anybody. Mm-hmm. Kay, is that correct? Anyone yep. in our community? You got a Steam Deck earlier than me. 
And, and I was anyone. stunned at the fact that you returned that thing. <laughs> no, no, I, I sold it. Remember, I sold it and, yes, I, and I doubled my money. You sold it. Okay. Yes, yes, you so, did. Yes, you so did. the reason Eat Fresh guy that I got rid of mine was because I was so like console focused that I was like, mm -hmm. no, I'm not going to give anything else a chance. It's not my Xbox. It doesn't have mm -hmm. my achievements, my friends list, etc. Right. Which there's nothing wrong with that. That you can game how you want. But Eat Fresh guy, I'd like, I'm so glad you said that because I legitimately want you explain why um someone would have to pay you because we want to know about why some of you guys feel that way what is it is it mm -hmm. that you are just overwhelmed by it is it that you don't like it is it that you don't want to you don't want to tweak the settings like i legitimately want to know and let's be clear let's be clear i am um, i for one am not advocating that you buy a pc right i am not saying that you jump into the pc waters I have consoles. I love my consoles. When there are new consoles, I will most likely get new consoles. Do I need to? No, I don't. But do you need more than one Blu-ray player? No, you don't. No, but you have you, one in your yeah. living room. You have one in your bedroom. You use them for their use cases. Not right? missionary. And life. that's all I'm saying. Yeah. This is not about, oh, the one thing that everybody has that you have to have. No, it's about your use case for where you need them. I have one in the playroom for my kids. They love playing Minecraft on there. I have the, the, the Series X in my living room. I enjoy playing there as well. I think it's pretty cool. But if you care about speeds and feeds like I care about speeds and feeds, because I do, right? Then I also get a machine, right? I guess what I'm saying to you is, this is where the hashtag get a PC movement came from when, yeah. when, I, when, I, when I thought about it understand what you are paying for oh right? okay don't expect don't expect a huge oh, uh, uh don't expect imax fidelity on your standard tv screen understand right. that that tv can't accept that right but it's right. okay that it can't accept that you get conveniences from and, that you know what absolutely I'm and and k this mm -hmm. is eat fresh guy and and don't yeah. think don't think that we're picking on you this is good this is mm -hmm. good information you're giving us yeah, yeah, yeah actually you're not the only one in our group that has mm -hmm. mentioned this before Okay, yes, yes. someone else mentioned now, this in our group. Now, to answer that question, I have to ask him, and, and please, you know, this is this is a great conversation. I appreciate that. Are you saying that because your experience has been on Switch? Because a lot of folks say, ah, I got big hands. I got big man hands, sir. Uh, I got size in the Euro European Union. I have size 46 sneaks, man. I have big hands. Oh, he, you know actually, <laughs> he actually follows up and, and he explains a little bit more. Huh? So that's good. Okay. So he has a serious yeah. sex. Hey, yeah. beautiful combination. Yes. Um, you don't want to, you don't want This guy yeah. is not for little hands. This is big man switch stuff. This is big hand stuff right here. If you so choose. If that is your problem, maybe find somebody who has one of these things. Oh, right. And it's not just this. Legion Go will do you. This is the same kind of thing. Right. Find that, test it out, maybe go to a Best Buy if you if you have one in and, your location and try and, it out. You might be surprised. And I think I'm and I think because I keep on looking at his responses, mm -hmm. I think I'm I think I'm understanding the type of gamer that he is, which I'm mm -hmm. telling you, this I, I are you sure you're not someone that we know disguised with someone because you, you're giving us the same answers we've given, but we've gotten. But let mm -hmm. me tell you, so I think that I think that this type of player, which there's nothing mm -hmm. wrong with this, okay? Again, I'm not a knock, but yep. Eat Fresh guy is saying that he's not hating on people that love handhelds or Steam Deck. Yep. He just yep. wants to sit in front of his 75 inch TV and play yep. his console. And you know what, sir? By all means, go ahead. But if you find oh, yourself, mm -hmm. let me just say this, Kay. Let me say Please. this, and then I'll Please. let you go. Yeah, if you yeah, find yeah. it, Eat Fresh guy. If you have found yourself to be frustrated with the performance of your Series X, if mm -hmm. you're frustrated because Hellblade is stuck at 30, if you're frustrated yep. for any other reason with that console, you mm -hmm. can you can get yourself a PC and connect it and have a big screen experience. I just want you to know that. Go yes. ahead, Kate. So what I wanted to say is, like, for example, right, I got myself a... Uh, 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 a GPD Ma a Win Max Two, right? Yeah, we have we have this a guy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy will be able to do your your standard seventy eight forty U stuff, right? The problem is, this probably will not be able to play uh, uh, your your uh, what do you call it? Hellblade Two at huge frame rates or any of those really big performance games, right? Hellblade Two probably a bad example. So is Legion. So is uh, Dragon's Dogma since it's very CPU bottlenecky but even the big gpu games this might fall short right steam uh, uh i expect this game uh i expect starfield to play around 
50 frames, 45, somewhere on something like this. But if you are not a person who plays on the go, right? But the problem is you don't, your, your problem is budget, right? You, you don't want to pay too much for a handheld device that you never even take out of the, take out of the house, right? At the end of the day, you can literally take this guy, plug it in, eGPU style, and now you have huge performance because you have an eGPU that will go. then th then go where you want to go with it. There are, and I'm not saying that's what you should do. Uh, what I'm saying is there is, it's not this one-stop shop of either console or PC. There are so many variations in the middle that can yeah. get you where you want, price tag you want, and still get you the performance you want if that's what you care about. If you right. don't care about that and your priority is convenience, dude, console's great. I still yeah. have one. I enjoy Absolutely. them. You know what I mean? Like it's it's excellent. Listen, I get so, and, and you and you saw mm -hmm. again. You said you saw that I get knocked on all the time in our in our private DM. I'll always yeah. buy a console as long as they sell it. Why? Yeah, me too. Because me too. I'm a pay pig. And the thing, and we're paid I have kids. Okay. I love the technology. We're, I love to see what the convenience is about. Well, so I will always be a console. Listen, I, 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 listen. I'm just a pay big. So I'm gonna get the PS5 Pro. I'm I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get uh -huh. whatever other Xbox comes out, and I'll be there day, yeah. day one because I just love gaming. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I want to yeah. game on no, anything that I can. I get you. Absolutely. Um, real quick, I wanted to share this with you guys. I want, I want, <laughs> except for the switch, he says. Uh, but even the switch is a really good example. There are many people I have one, which is so. who never actually take it out of its dock and they play yes. it and they enjoy it. It's not a handheld to them. It's literally the thing that sits there. My, and they enjoy it on their screen. My, my cousin literally has a switch, and he said he's never played it in handheld mode. Exactly. There so. are people who do that, right? So, for a quick example. For, for those who are like, oh, I don't want to mess with settings and this and that. As you can see, I'm, look, I'm showing you the settings of GeForce Now. This is a very important key feature, which I think Microsoft might adopt for their next Xbox, which is giving you the option to either profile it yourself or lock it down with the profile that comes with it. Now, yep. what do I mean by that for those who may not understand what profiling is? Every time a game comes out, right? On the PC side, you know exactly what we're talking about. You'll go in, you'll make this setting, you'll change that setting, you'll you'll try to get to your 60 frames or your 40 frames or whatever you want. If you don't know or don't care about that, right, you can just hit this button and it comes off by default. And as soon as you boot it up, it's the best that the, that, that the developer thought you'd want. Mm -hmm. And that's it. You're just yep. playing the game. If you go into the settings, you won't even see the options to change anything. It's just blank screen. All you got is maybe brightness settings or whatever. You move forward. If you are like me and go, you know what? I can turn the shadows down. I can sh I can turn on ambient occlusion down. And if you don't know what that is, you don't need to turn it on. But if you do, then you have the options to go in the background and make all those changes. And let right? me tell you a little this, secret. This, to me, is the best solution. Let mm. me tell you a little secret. And I know this from experience. When you first start, you're not going to know what anything means. But you know what? Yeah. There's a, there's this little thing called Google that when you put in whatever it is that you don't understand, it gives you the definition yeah. and you learn within like two minutes of what it means. And then you go, you know what? I could do without that. And many games even say it, right? Many games say, hey, this does this. This does that, right? So whether you whether you know it when you start or not, you know, just because you don't know what this means, what LOD stands for, which is, you know, a uh, uh, level of detail. If you don't know what that means, you don't need to know what that means. Just start playing, right? If you flip the switch and you say, hey, that's a little better, but it's it's losing my frames. Oh, I care about yeah. this or I care about that. That's how you learn. No one sat in an office or sat in a school and they went, well, to game on the PC, you need to understand that <laughs> LOD means that. No, you just started playing and you discovered these options for yourself. And if you don't it, care about those options, you never have that to touch them. Is that being on the other side of the fence before I was gaming mm. on PC? I remember that, like, some of the things that we used to do, uh, you know, I, I didn't really get into that because it was always more console war with me. But the, yeah. the, the, the knock on the PC gamers was always that they don't play games, they just run benchmarks, you know? And then that, that's kind of like something that you would hear. And then you would hear yeah. the thing about the downloading the drivers. And then you would hear about, oh, the PC ports all suck and they're not good because you would have different companies working on the ports. And I mean, you're mm -hmm. still going to get your dash of that stuff 
Um, mm -hmm. Very little, though. It's not the norm. Um, in, in my two plus years already, Kay, it's only been a handful of times that I've run into issues like that, that I have to kind of figure out what to yeah. do to get a game to run or something like that. It hasn't mm -hmm. been the norm. Mm -hmm. um, now, one thing one thing that I will tell you with with this conversation that I that I do mm -hmm. think it's very important is that, you know, when it, it, we we. It, and I do it on a on a daily basis. I knock Xbox for their kumbaya. Okay, you know that. But it's there is something to be said about the that tag that they're trying to use with with that. Every Xbox, every screen is an Xbox or whatever. I mean, you started the show literally showing us on your browser that you were <laughs> using the Xbox ecosystem. Bro, I'm I might I might start streaming games because it's it's less performant on my box. I, I mean, can just if you wanna, load we're almost done. Just go. We're almost done. So if you wanna if you wanna fire something up so that whoever joined the slate can see it in action, go right ahead. But the point that I'm trying to get is is that pretty soon, just how Steam is a platform, I think mm -hmm. I'm I think I'm slowly realizing little by little that platforms are the future. Platforms. Yes. Are, not hardware it, hardware is the means to an end yes steam it kind of has solidified what platform is it's kind of defined mm -hmm. the pc space in in the console space playstation has dominated with nintendo and xbox has always played kind of a second fiddle to them except for one generation mm -hmm. but what we're what i think that the future is here right because we always like to focus on what's coming is platforms because i think that I think that Xbox realized a very long time ago that as long as you're playing on their platform, they don't care how you access it. I mean, they just I'll do you want one you better, playing sir. on their platform. I'll do you one better, sir. If you buy their hardware and then play maybe one or two games, they hate you. I, I've heard that before. More. I've heard that before. You're not the only one that has said that. Yeah. Yes, because you're costing the money. Yes, because when you think about it, the the loss that they have, they really have to make it up with selling you controllers and yep. and games and et cetera, et cetera. Yep. So that is true. So, Kay, I I'm I'm out of uh, I'm out of subjects, man. I know that we we did an hour today. We usually go an hour, an hour twenty. Is there anything mm -hmm. you want to finish up the show with, or or else? What well, are you, gonna you be know what? This week? How about you share your screen and share, folks? And and I don't know if you've 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 already tapped into that yet. But I would suggest if you haven't done so already, because we are in the world of of Fallout and how great Fallout is and people oh, love Fallout. Yep. Maybe you share gaming.twitch.com and show that Fallout is everywhere now. People are buying. They're all in Fallout land and there are awesome deals to be had at Fallout. Like Fallout is everywhere at this point. And if you really care about it, you can get yourself. Free copies of Fallout, Fallout 1, Fallout. I think all of them are either on sale for almost super cheap or absolutely free. Hold on. Right? I'm looking for it. Uh, cool. It's gaming.twitch.fallout, you said? It's gaming.twitch.com. Oh, I got you. I will. Yeah. And Hold now on, you, must be, you must be a, a, a you must be a, a uh, what do you call it? A, uh, a member to, to uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, Amazon Prime, which... I would say which human being on this earth is not currently a, a, a member to that to that service. I actually ooh, hold on, did, did that? Pop yeah, up? I'm gonna I'm gonna let you handle there that it because I couldn't there find it, it there. But no uh, worries, no worries. Got, yeah, there it is. Uh, so hold the press, we got Boom yeah. in the chat. Hey, my brother. Oh, boom. what's going on, brother? The great Boom. <laughs> that you, hey, sir. hey, I always give shout outs to Boom because without Boom, mm -hmm. me and you wouldn't be here doing the show tonight. Absolutely. So I would like to show 100%. 100%. my appreciation to to the OG. Yeah. The great boomstick, he gets a PC. He, yes. he chooses to play on console, but he gets yes. a PC. Yeah, if you no, understand I, what I'm saying. Yeah, no, no, right? he he understands, and you know, and That's we right. had a conversation the other day, a very good one. And uh, boom is boom is happy, man, and boom is satisfied yeah. with that with that Xbox Series X. And Absolutely, I can't blame him, man. For five hundred bucks, yeah. you're getting you're getting a, a, a good piece of hardware. You're getting to play awesome games at a really smooth clip. Why are you complaining? And if you are complaining, hashtag get a PC. There you go. So, let me show you this. This is Fallout New Vegas, which you can play on Luna today. You can just play it. You hit the button, and you're playing it. 
Fallout 3, right? Uh, they have Fallout 76 on PC and on, on Xbox, if you so choose. They have a lot of games that you can just go in here and hit hit play on or buy on, and you get it for absolutely free, right? So this is this is my this is my 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 tip of the day on, on this. Please don't let these things pass you by, right? Uh, and by the way, just so you know, deals.gg keeps all of those things aggregated. So if you don't even know it's going down, it is my go here and it'll and tell I'm gonna you. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to change it. It's right? become oh, a daily and, thing here. And what it's telling you is also, <laughs> by the way, on Epic Game Store, uh, uh, Ghost Runner is free. Yes, there you go. free ninety nine. Get that right. These are the options for you, baby. Appreciate y'all being here. There you, go. you know, we, we we love showing you how you can save a lot of money. Just by jumping on here, hey. uh, one of the greatest games on uh, on 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 PlayStation ever. I'm sorry, one of the greatest games on PlayStation ever. Journey, journey is amazing. It's less than two dollars, right? What now. a great, what a great journey. Right? <laughs> hey, AK, you got Tarzan's R and R showing you some love there, man. You want to read that? Uh, appreciate you, Tarzan. He says thank you, Kiyosante, for showing your love to uh, to our podcast. When you had infinite, oh, of course, sir. I appreciate it. I love when new voices enter the fray. I love when they come out and they want they want to talk themselves and and make themselves uh, seen and heard. And of course, you had the great infinite number on. So of course, I got to show up and respect. I absolutely, absolutely appreciate you. And K, yeah. there's two things that we need to do as follow ups mm -hmm. coming up uh, later in the, in the next few months. First of all, okay, what we're gonna have a special on the real episode to cover mm -hmm. Fallout. And to and to cover X Men ninety seven, I just watched the latest oh, yes, episode yes. last Ladies night. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't seen oh, all the episodes, my God. we are going to wait until the end of Fallout. Well, Fallout's already out, but we're going to wait till the end of of X Men. But we both we we're going to cover both. There'll probably be one episode, and it'll cover both Fallout, and it'll cover yes. X Men ninety seven. Yep. So go out and watch X Men ninety seven. Episode five. Oh, hold on to your butts, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. <laughs> oh man, you know what would be awesome if you know what would be awesome if we're able to do if we're able mm -hmm. to get up to up to the point where work kind of slows down and we mm -hmm. can do kind of like a week to week thing. Can you imagine when the uh, podcast starts previously on K and, oh, and K and John Wolf <laughs> Gamers man. Playground? Oh man, that'll be so cool if we could get the, the actual voice. I would love yes, that. But that'd be awesome. That'd be absolutely but, awesome. But K, K, we're at, we're at the end of the show, man. Uh, uh, it, this wasn't. Uh, oh, actually, we got one more super chat. Go ahead, sir. I'll Indeed, we have the great JD Gamer with a five dollar super chat, and he says, "This is how Xbox wins the console war by forcing PlayStation into an arms race that it can't win with AAA game, AAA bangers costing hundreds of millions of dollars to make." There you go. All the while, they say, "Hey, all app stores are our app stores." Uh, hold right? on, hold That's on. Can fantastic. I finish? Can I finish mm -hmm. something for him? Uh, hey, Please. I it's missing pathetic pony uh something <laughs> pathetic poor begging ponies there got you no go. game come on there now. you go there TM. you go there you go there you go you see you see i keep up i keep up jd okay i watch all the shows i i know who's in i know who's in every show but, i need to uh, see a shirt that says that on there pathetic pork begging ponies got no games i think jd i think i i think even i said that in our dm one day <laughs> I, was, I was like oh man uh episode oh yes it was i i think yes, you're speaking was. about x-men 97 nope. and man nope. i Hey, that was a good episode yesterday, man. I have a I have a reference point to to Game of Thrones that I should make about episode five, but that's too much of a spoiler. Man. So I'll move on. <laughs> I'll move on. Look, but man. yes, watch the show, play some games. There are many options available to you. Yep. Uh, eat fresh, guy. I, I, get on that. Get on that. If you were a childhood X Men fan, the cartoons or the comics. Get yep. on it, man. I'm telling you, it's, uh, it's really I good. I will say, I will say, uh, as slanderous or as, as blasphemous as this will sound, this is better than the original. Because in the original, I, they were trying I to sell to you agree. games. They were, uh, they were trying to sell you cartoon uh, 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 um, toys. They yep. were trying to get you to the next ad. Here, there are no toys to be sold. There are no ads. So all you get is just banger after banger. You're yep. just losing your mind every five minutes. It's amazing, and <laughs> and and it and it definitely is riddled with Easter eggs, just like the Fallout show. Mm -hmm. So, yep. um, I, we had we had a good a good person in in our chat telling us that there were jingles from different games in the from different Bethesda games 
in in the Fallout show, which in the I Fallout show, yes, I, yes, 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 I didn't yes, even notice I heard that. that. So mm -hmm. Fallout was so yep. good that typically me, I do not. Okay, I usually watch something and I'm done. Like I watch it mm -hmm. one time and I never go back. And Fallout was so good that I am literally gonna go back and watch it. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Slow mo. We were talking about you early in the show. You, you know, we're, we're <laughs> slow mo. Listen, man. Right now, K, K, K made me put down the rifles. He he made me get in kumbaya. Look, mode, man, man, it's about love, okay? bro. It's about yeah. love. What are we doing? He, he, he's spreading that kumbaya goodness. He sprinkled it on my brownies. Yeah. We're, we're good to go here, man. Okay. So, <laughs> but yeah, okay. So this, this will be the end, man. I, I think we've reached uh, rock bottom here with, with this. Okay. Indeed. Now slow mo Indeed. coming in. And Kate, tell the good folks where can they catch you for the for the rest of the week what are you going to be playing this week and yeah yeah slow mo they they did man they 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 got me man. okay so 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 uh let let the good fo folks know where, where you're going to be up to so i will be playing and and i have been playing trinity fusion i will continue playing trinity fusion now, now those that know know that uh <laughs> he says <"Pull> out. <laughs> damn man calm down he's hey, fine I, hey, listen there this ain't no j cole moment here okay Can you oh get the, come on uh, you now know we're gonna that. turn into a five-hour podcast nah, talking nah, about nah, j cole listen, man, there ain't no j cole in me and you know i you know there's no adam 22 energy with the latino heat man indeed 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 there is well, let me start it slow-mo you see he got in here now now the latino heat's coming out so i have been playing trinity fusion my indie game of choice. I have been playing The Devil Within. That's Sagat. If you haven't checked it out, you need to. It's mm. freaking awesome. It is really cool. It's like Samurai, uh, Metroidvania style. I've really been enjoying it. Uh, I went back to Dragon's Dogma 2 because F it, I needed to conquer that. And I'm, I'm much further in that game now. I'm, I'm really enjoying my game. up, by the way? <laughs> All the goddamn meat that just keeps rotting in my inventory, pissing me off. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine it's fine but i was even playing that like a couple hours ago it's, it's a really great game and oddly enough i hate card games can't get enough of bellatro yes let Love me bellatro. Let, let me throw a joke out there for slow-mo because he joins us why mm. don't you leave why don't you leave that rotting meat out for those console players so that they have something to eat no. <laughs> there you go slow-mo that was for you brother i made up there you go very rude very rude sir uh, that is not cool we are we are promoting goodness we are promoting togetherness on this show yeah. there is no need for that slander sir 98 percent, 98 percent goodness with a little with, with a little latino heat uh-huh uh -huh. understood understood all right calm down <laughs> but yeah i've uh, been playing a lot of interesting games uh i'm, I'm watching uh fallout with wifey so i haven't watched the whole season oh that's awesome right? Yep. This is what you do, watching what we can. So right after this show, we're gonna go watch the next episode. I think I'm on episode four right now. So about to get into it. <laughs> Level says and don't eat it. <laughs> Stop being slanderous. We're trying to be nice on this show. Calm down, people. Here we go. Right Here we go. <laughs> uh huh. Yes. Yes. So, yes. So is, yes. is is wifey enjoying the show? Because a lot of people I've heard that that their significant others are really yeah. enjoying the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't get her to watch the Halo series with me, but she's she's down day one on Fallout, and she's she's know. enjoying I, it. You know, I, she's I love it. the the Halo, even season one, and a lot of people think I'm on I'm on drugs. So, bro, I, <laughs> I did not hate it, but the, see, I I like you, I'm a comic book reader, and I took it for an Elsewell story, and I was able to agree with it, enjoy it for what it was. Right? Hey. It took till episode two, uh, till season two of the last episode for it to become my Halo and not just a Halo. But I enjoyed I, what I saw. You know, I, I I agree with you. And Michael Santiago, listen, you guys make the perfect pair. I love how disappointed Kate gets at John. Listen, I've always I've always said this since our first. I am episode. not disappointed at John. Calm down. I, I've always I've always said this from our first episode. Kate is Cable, and I am Deadpool, and we just <laughs> I'm the man from other. Borneo. <laughs> I just balance each other perfectly. Okay, indeed, right? indeed. So, so yeah, okay. So that's good to hear, man. And obviously, you're gonna be on a. Uh, primetime gaming probably on wednesday correct indeed i will be on primetime gaming on wednesday of course with mr boomstick always love being on there talking that great talk of the xbox talk we're going to definitely do yeah. that and then of course saturday we'll be on gcp another great episode mr everborn saga will return this week he wasn't oh, he wasn't nice. available this week uh last week but we had the great 
the great that blue number on Holly Hollywood Holly as they call there her these go. days. Yeah, she, Hollywood she Holly. Cast. Yeah, she's you gonna come out right? strumming that guitar like Hollywood Hogan. Ding, <laughs> that's ding, right. Ding, that's ding, right. Ding, and uh, we also had the great Ben Kenobi on. I call yes. him the Master of Coin. coin you master. might actually start seeing seeing some coins in that re- regard on our show. We're gonna mm. we're in the background talking with them. Want to mm. see if we can get some coins going. Maybe a custom GCP coin, maybe some coins here and there. You know, uh, it's, you know, it's you know that I, you know, yeah. I also uh, slid into Holly's DMs. Okay, mm. and I told her about getting a, a, about quoting us for a little gamers playground custom coin. I got okay? no. Okay? So, I think that's awesome. That's and of awesome. course, you know, at the back end, say non missionary gamers. Okay, so mm-hmm. yes, <laughs> calm down, yeah, you. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. So. Guys, you can hit How me up. How about you, sir? Where, where can people find you? Yeah. Yeah, on on X, on Xbox, Steam, PlayStation, John Wolf, just as it is there. Um, hit us up on Discord, of course. Kay put the link there a little while ago. Um, hit us up on Discord. We're always having great conversations in there. And we just love... Speaking of Discord, real quick, yeah. you, you reminded me. Speaking of Discord, which, by the way, I'll put the, the Discord in the chat again. Speaking of Discord, I have been doing what I call the code spring cleaning i got a bunch of codes for games that i either have copies of or games that i never really got into a bunch of steam codes for my handheld gamers out there if you want that some of that uh, our members we have a, a special member chat that folks can jump into but just in gen pop in general join the discord catch yourself a code there's so much codes to go around some some of them some games you probably haven't heard of before some games are really popular i think the last kit code i dropped was for the dmc uh, uh hd trilogy oh you know go one yeah there you go right you can you can get your hands on the code that you may not have gotten before maybe you might be new to the handheld scene these are the games that sip tdp let you play for a long time lots of great games i got pages and pages and pages of stuff. maybe so, you have something fallout related in. That you can throw in there. Maybe I have something Fallout related that I can jump back and throw in in there. Yes, if you are not a a, a member of uh of uh, what do you call it uh, um of Amazon Prime, maybe you you didn't get your hands on a Fallout seventy six code. I have a Fallout seventy six code for you. Why not? So jump go. into that Discord. I put it in the chat. We appreciate y'all for being here. Thank you so much. Yeah, and the last thing I'll do is I'll plug. This past GCP, like you said, it was a great episode with uh, Ben Kenobi, Holly, and yourself. You guys had great conversations. So, guys, right after this show, go check that out unless you're going to catch Colt and uh, Mag Live or someone that's live on Mondays. A lot of good people doing great podcasts. Um, A lot of people are on point, man. And, uh, yeah, man, we'll end it there. Until next week, we'll be back with some more PCMR talk and tech talk as well. Peace, everyone.